Hello everyone, uh, Dr. G here with a tutorial on uh, running, uh, basically running uh, Autodoc Vina through Chimera. And there's already a really great tutorial on this by uh, Maciej Stavikovsky. Uh, so this is the video there and I'll be sure to link that in the description. The only reason I'm making this video is there's a couple times in that video where uh, the menu gets cut off a little bit. And uh, I thought it might be add some clarity for some of my students taking my uh, intro to computational chemistry uh, grad course. Uh, I thought that uh, it might be good for you to see um, the menu a little more clearly. But uh, this is the this is a fantastic uh, tutorial, and this is the one you should watch all the way through. This is uh, I'm just doing a little supplement to that, so you can see some of the things a little better. So uh, that being said, let's open up Chimera. Chimera. All right, Chimera has launched. And now if you look at the very bottom here, there's this thing that says fetch. If you click on that, and we have a menu here, and I just have a few notes to myself, right? So uh, the, the structure from the tutorial is one BTY. So if I type one BTY here, and then I click fetch, and we look, and this is the same one from the tutorial. So this is really nice that Chimera has this feature that you can load something so easily. Uh, let's see, so now if I go, so if you look closely here, where is it? Right here, if I zoom in there, this uh, little six membered ring right here, that is actually the, the ligand, but we can select that pretty easily by clicking on select structure ligand. So if I click that, it selects the ligand, but uh, as you know, following along with the Maciej's tutorial, the suggestion was then we just go um, invert all models. There we go. Now we've selected everything except for that. And now I can click, uh, where is it? Tools, no, no, tools. No, hang on, wrong one. <laughs> Actions, there we go. Atoms, and then uh, delete. So I click that. So actions, atoms slash bonds, and then delete. Now we have only the ligand left. So now we want to save this thing. So now we want to say file, save PDB. And now um, I have placed a, um, here we go. This is the menu that pops up and uh, the folder. Let's scroll over here. Where is it? There it is. If we scroll here, I'm on my desktop. I created this, you know, just, so here's an empty directory, right? Autodoc through Chimera demo. Um, I'm just gonna save it there. Autodoc through Chimera demo. And then the file name, we're gonna call it ligand, L-I-G-A-N-D. Hit save. And now we see that in, um, in this file right here, now we have a ligand, right? So there's that. And now we close this and then uh, go back into Chimera. And now, we're going to start out the same way. We'll load it again. We'll fetch this one more time. 1 BTY, 1 BTY, fetch. There it is. Uh, this time, now we want to get only, um, we want to basically get only the protein. So we don't want the ligand. And there's also like some sort of, uh, there's something else bound in here that we don't want to include. So this this time we do uh, a similar process. We go select uh, structure and protein. And then again, we're gonna invert it because instead we want everything but the protein so that we can delete that stuff. So then we go invert all models. Then we go, see if I remember this time, tools. Uh, no, no, actions, I did it again. Actions, atoms slash bonds, and then delete. There we go. Cool, so now we have only the protein here. So now we wanna save this as well. So for this one, we're gonna say file, save PDB. And we're gonna call this thing, uh, let's call it, um, I believe the, the language in the, in the video, I think it calls it receptor. Yeah, receptor, we're gonna call it receptor. To stay consistent, receptor, receptor. Yeah, that'll work. Save. And if we look in here, indeed it did save a PDB for receptor, right? So that's that's a new one we just created. Now, uh, if we go to favorites and then you go to model panel, uh, it shows us uh, a little panel of all the models that are loaded. 
And we note that this thing is still called 1BTY instead of receptor, so we might as well rename that to be consistent. Let's call it, um, let's call this thing receptor, whoops, receptor, okay. There we go, so we've renamed that. And now um, we need to have uh, both things loaded here. So if we wanna load um, the other, um, we want to also load the ligand. So let's load the ligand now. If we go file, open, and then we're going to go to this, it, you know, we're still in the same directory, right? This one, this, the one that on, on the desktop here. Uh, and we are going to load the ligand. Ligand, say open. And then there it is. You see it, it's shown in a different color. So now both are loaded, both the ligand and um, the, the target or receptor are both loaded in here. Cool. So now uh, to see things a little bit more clearly of you know how to dock this thing, um, again, following uh, uh, Mate's tutorial, we want to um, uh, basically render the receptor as a surface. So if we select structure protein, Okay, we've selected the protein, and now if we go to, what was it, tools, I don't know, maybe actions, surface, there we go, actions, surface, and show. Click show, you wait a second, and there it is. So now we have a surface here. So now you can see, like, this really is like a, this is kind of more intuitive, right? You really see that there's a ligand that's getting stuck in the, a little channel there. Cool. So uh, let's see, what's next? So now we want to start uh, trying to do some docking with this, right? So now we want to do, um, from here we go to, let me think here, tools. Let's see, I'm going by memory here. So that's always dangerous, right? Yeah, all right, so if we go to tools, and then if we go to surface slash binding analysis, there it is, auto dock Vena, click on that. So tools, surface binding analysis, Autodoc Vena, and then this little uh, thing will pop up. So this is how we, we set up the Autodoc Vena. So you have to name an output file, right? So Autodoc Vena is going to do the docking with this ligand, and we have to choose where we want to save the results. So use the Browse button, and then that'll open this thing up, and um, let's see. Yeah, this, this directory right here, this Autodoc... Um, Autodoc through Chimera demo, we're going to put it there. So Autodoc through uh, Chimera demo there. This, the, the browser thingy will set up the, um, the browse function will set up the, the, the directory path. So we just have to give it a name. And it's going to be a PDQT file. That's important for uh, Autodoc Vena. It needs that type of file. So let's, um, let's see. So the, in, in, um, in the tutorial from, uh, um, much a, uh, there was a better name, but I'm just going to call it a, a docking output, right? Docking output. We'll just call it that. Uh, and then I would say set output location. So now you see how it, it set the uh, correct file path as well as the file name here. Now we want to select the correct thing to be the receptor. So we named it receptor to make it easy, right? So that one's actually already correct. Now the ligand needs to be set to ligand. So this is the ligand. So now we have the correct thing as being labeled a ligand and the receptors correctly labeled a receptor. Okay, so now as now we have to define like a, a volume where we want Autodoc Vena to search and try and stick a molecule in here, right? Because if you give it the entire surface, uh, that's going to be a really big search, right? These searches can blow up to huge sizes really quickly. So basically, you know, in fact, if you look at the Autodoc Vena uh, tutorial, they say, um, you know, make the box as small as it can be, but no smaller, right? I think that's the advice they give. So anyway, all right, we're going to click resize search volume using, and then uh, you have some choices, the control button and button one. So button one means left click, and control, of course, is your control key. So I'm going to choose that. And um, okay, so now, basically, if I go to this view, and I just left click, I can kind of move it around. If I right click, I can zoom in and out, right? Um, but, um, if I hit control and then I left click, control, left click, drag. Okay. So now I have this, um, I have this, um, what do you call it? 
basically this this volume, right? Let me zoom out a little more. There you go. Now you can see the whole thing. So now I have this volume that I'm using for uh, searching for, for binding this thing. And clearly I've put it in a bad spot here. So let's try and adjust it so that basically it's centered around this channel. And let's see how deep it goes. Yeah, it goes all the way through. So this thing is huge right now. So let's let's make it a bit smaller. So for one, okay, I'm going to say uh, control left click here, and then I can slide that up somewhere in there. There we go. And now, and notice you have to click on the face of the cube that you want to move. Uh, let's try it again. I'll do control left click here. There we go. Go a little bit past there. And now let's move this one. Control left click. Move that, and then control, left click. Oh, wrong one. I grabbed the wrong surface there. I'm gonna grab that one. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. I have to rotate it a bit. Now it'll probably let me. So now if I go control, left click. There we go. So you really have to make sure you're clicking right on on the correct surface that you want to move here. Control, left click, move. This is pretty good. Let me make this go a little further though. There we go. I think this is decent. So let's look at where, where this put me. So as I was using the mouse to, to, to tweak this, it was updating these positions here, right? So the center of this cube is it, uh, you know, this is X, Y, and Z, right? So about 28, 8, and 19, roughly. And the size of each face is 17, 16, 20. Um, I think this is pretty decent. We've got a little higher than we need to, though. Let's, let's lower that a little bit. Oopsies. Wrong face. Let's try that again. I think I can get it now. There we go. Yeah. You know, honestly, that's pretty good. Let's try running with that. Let's see how long it takes to dock with this. I think we're pretty good. I think my box might be a little bigger than it needed to be. Actually, I'm going to take the bottom down a tiny bit if I can manage to access that part of the cube. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I think I can see a little corner of it down here. Maybe if I do this, control, left click. Yeah, okay, let me move it down, cool. Let me put it down here somewhere so that I know it's kind of going deep enough into the channel. Okay, so now I've selected that stuff. I'm just gonna run with the stuff that I selected with the mouse. Um, but you know, in, in the uh, the proper tutorial here by uh, uh, Mache, uh, he adjusted the size by typing some numbers in here. You can do that if you want. I think I'm just gonna try and run with this. So now uh, receptor options, uh, these were all left uh, default in, in that video, so I'm going to do the same. Same thing for ligand, ligand options, we ran with all defaults. Uh, advanced, let's see, I wrote some notes on this one. Binding modes, the tutorial went with 5, so we're going to do 5. Exhaustiveness, we're going to max it out at 8. And then maximum uh, energy difference, looks like the tutorial did it at 2. Uh, Alright, let's do a 2. And then, uh, okay, the executable location. This is uh, this is kind of important. So basically, let me stretch this down a little bit so you can see it. There it is. So the executable, basically, definitely install Autodoc Vina on your computer um, so that you have a local version of it. It's a free download. So just uh, Google where to get that. It's, it's a super simple download. You don't have to compile anything. You just basically put it on your computer and it works, right? So here is that folder just so I can show you. So this is sitting on my desktop. Um, and basically, so, you know, I, I downloaded the, I've actually deleted the old tar file for Autodoc Vina. But anyway, it, 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 it create, you know, when I unzipped it, it created this folder here. And then going into that, going into bin. Now we see this is the executable for Vina. So this file path, right? It's, it's basically going from my desktop to here to here. That's the file path to Vina. Right, so if I click on, uh, where did it go? This thing. So you can use that browse tool again. So like mine's already in there, but if I click on browse, then um, what on earth? Okay, it's, it's taking a weird path. So let's go from, let's see here. Let's go from users to me, to desktop, to Autodoc Vina, to, there it is, right? Vina. So you see, I, I clicked all the way to that and I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to say close because I already had it in here, right? Yeah. So there's no point in changing it. But that's that's how you would do that, right? You just use the browse function to navigate to where you have Autodoc Vina installed, right? So basically, you you yourself, you have to in install Autodoc Vina. Again, it's a free download. Just unzip it somewhere 
that you know how to get to it on your computer and then just pass that file path to Chimera and it will be able to find it. Um, but yeah, it's probably not automatically installed when you in in install Chimera. In fact, I'm, I'm sure I'm pretty sure it's not right. This is that's why you have to do this. So if you don't do that, it can't find Autodoc Vina. So that's where it is. So now uh, everything's in here. I think this is going to work. So I'm going to click OK. What's it doing? OK, it's doing something. OK, this thing just popped up over here. OK, look, I think it did it. So now uh, let's go find. OK, where is that ligand? There it is. Let me zoom in a little bit. And we can see, okay, you see how there's actually two structures in there now, right? There's the original, there's the original ligand, and there's a second one that's kind of like right next to it. So let's let's flip through and show the different uh, binding modes or, or different uh, poses, right? It's here, it's there. All right, look at all these different places where uh, Autodoc Vena tried uh, docking the molecule. So there you have it. Um, from here, yeah, I, I think, uh, oh, and then you can do movie, so you can hit play. Is it doing it? Yeah, there we go. Now we can see this thing is, it's playing through like, you know, it's going from like worst to best, right? That's the best. All right, so uh, basically, uh, you know, we see the ligand uh, playing through the movie here, right? So we can watch the, the different poses uh, that, uh, that were kind of the more successful ones, right? And we can look over here and there's information about, you know, the scoring. Um, that you know which ones basically has the best binding versus the the second third best etc. So uh, first let's uh, let's stop the movie for a second. If we stop the movie there, and now uh, let's see here. How can we save? Can we save? Let's say we save as desktop auto doc through Chimera, and let's save this thing as uh, output output from docking. Save that there, hit save. And now if we look here, okay, now we have this uh, output from docking.pdbqt. So now we've also saved that there. So now I can close this. And uh, you know what, let's, uh, let's quit uh, Chimera here. And let's take a look at this thing. Uh, let's try opening it in um, Pymol, in fact. Let's open it with Pymol and see how that goes. So if I open this thing in Pymol, right? So different different software now that's also used for looking at uh, molecular structures. Open this thing, skip activation, there it is, okay. So if we look at this thing in Pymol, and now uh, let me let me drag the ligand here, to, or sorry, the receptor rather, drag that here. Okay, there's our, our uh, receptor, and, and let's, uh, let's show this thing as surface. And then, okay, and there it is, right? We got a kind of a similar situation here, so this is good. It seemed to have saved okay. So basically, I was just opening it using different software to kind of demonstrate that sure enough, this thing did uh, save pretty well. So if we look at this thing and uh, there we go, right? And we can we can look at this and, and see that basically the same sort of deal here, right? In fact, uh, we can step through with this, right? There we go. We can see uh, the same poses here, right? You could play, I think it plays real fast. Yeah. <laughs> You get the idea though, right? So basically we, we, we have our docking, it worked. We were able to save it so we can go back to this later as a PDBQT file. All right, so uh, hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you next time.